Hi AD, welcome to my room. <laughs> my apartment is not done yet, but I just couldn't wait to show you my room. So here we go, come on in. When the new ones weigh you down, you'll be on top of them. My bedroom is pretty small, but I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I tried to utilize every little corner, which brings me to the first part of my room, which is my desk area. My dad was actually nice enough to custom build this little corner desk. We measured it out, he built it in a day. He's such a pro. I got this stool from West Elm. I can just sit right here and do my makeup while sitting down because I'm so used to getting ready at like a desk or a vanity. I keep all of my everyday makeup in here so I can just get ready less than 10 minutes, put it on, watch a little YouTube, maybe even do some Zoom calls. All my makeup brush is there and this cute little vase that my roommate Taylor got for me on Valentine's Day. We went with the hanging theme for these mirrors. This is actually one of my favorite pieces of decor these flowers my parents had picked before I was even born so I came across them one day they're all pressed and we did some nice little surgery to glue them in there put them in this frame hung her up and then I found this as a part of the Magnolia collection from Target so this is my little ode to Chip and Joanna Gaines and I love getting ready there over here we have the best part about my room my bed she's wonderful I finally got big girl bedding I had stains all over my old bedding in college and it was finally time for me to grow up and get some beautiful sheets and blankets and I'm really excited because this video is actually sponsored by Brooklinen. All of the stuff on my bed is by Brooklinen. I've had these for about two and a half weeks and I kid you not I've never slept so well in my entire life. I actually got two different things from Brooklinen. I got their classic sheet bundle. I picked out these adorable pinstripe sheets. They're great because I tend to sleep really hot and these are so nice because as soon as I roll over they're always crisp and cool and I paired them with this nice cream duvet. I really wanted it to feel like a spa like environment five-star hotel and it really does I think it's so important to mix a nice neutral with a texture I got these simple smoky striped sheets with this beautiful quilt this is the black Graham quilt and I love it so much I also have it over at the end of my bed it feels like you have a weighted blanket and it's very comforting especially gonna be nice in the winter when I want to just pull this up and have a little bit more warmth but for now it's really great just to snuggle up with and I'm very excited about working with them because they are such a wonderful company. They have over 20 different patterns and colors to choose from. They donate a bunch of their returned items to different people in need or animal shelters to use. So they're all about reducing waste and none of their products are made with harsh chemicals. They were nice enough to give me a code for you guys. If you guys want to use the code Kiara20, you can get $20 off when you spend $100. Pick out some new nice bedding things. I promise you guys won't be disappointed. I'm obsessed with my bedding and I think it really makes the room feel bigger and brighter than it actually is. Next to my beautiful bedding, we have this lovely plant. This is John B. My wonderful manager actually gave me a plant as a graduation gift and the pot broke. So I ended up with two of these. So this is Bennett's cousin, John B. He lives in my room. The pot is actually from a local plant shop in Portland, which is really nice. It's gray and it kind of matches my bed, which I love. Over here, we have another masterpiece by Doug. My dad is just so handy. He built this for me when I got into my first college apartment and it was in my living room, but now I kind of restyled it for my bedroom. I've got the plants from my 21st birthday, a little picture of my old roommate, t -Wan, us and Catalina, my favorite Daisy perfume, my necklaces and everything. This is Jasper, he's real cute. I might need to find him a bigger pot though. <laughs> One of my favorite things, is this. It says, I'm a lot cooler on the internet, which I think is probably true. So that's kind of everything that I have over here. I also have this funky head piece that I had in my apartment. I found that at Nordstrom Rack on sale. You gotta shop the sale section, people. And then over here on the back of my door, I actually have a full length mirror, which is really nice if I wanna get ready, see what my outfit looks like. I didn't have any space to really put it in my room, so I thought this was a nice solution. I got her from Target and she sits there. We have my closet. Now I was very concerned about having enough storage in my room because I don't have a dresser, but my closet actually holds a lot of stuff. Oh, that wasn't good. <laughs> Day. This is my closet. My wonderful friend Katie Mac helped me organize it. She looks amazing. I like to keep some of my boots up here, winter pants, jeans, sweaters. I've got a bunch of my favorite Fabletic stuff that I like to wear. 
And then I've got swimsuits, pajamas, sports bras, and I like to use my drawer organizers in these baskets. These are from the container store. They are pretty deep and hold a lot of stuff and just fit really nicely on the shelves. And then my clothes, you know, we got a nice little belt rack, which I actually used to hang up my purse. I like when everything has a place and it's kind of tucked away so I can just close the doors and there's not like a bunch of junk hanging everywhere. This is a really great cubby from PB Teen and it's got a bunch of neckies, ski socks, all the good winter stuff. Got my way bag, extra extra sweatshirts up here. I do love this closet. She's very organized. I'll show you guys the other side of her. This is the home to my clothing. It's all coordinated thanks to my Katie Mac. She did a fantastic job. I still am trying to figure out how I want to do this shelf, but I keep a bunch of my pajamas there as well as all of my tennis shoes. That is my closet and I hope to keep her clean all the time. <laughs> All right, we've come to my inspiration wall. This is where I have my YouTube subscriber plaque, probably my most proud, actually this is the only plaque I own. This is my one award that I like to display. Now we have a little inspo board. I've got this quote that says, don't regret growing older, it's a privilege denied to many. It was actually a quote that was hanging in my house that my dad wrote down. It used to hang on our fridge, so I, had to bring her here because I think it's something good to remember. We've got a little sticker. I'm gonna put the company that sent me these adorable stickers right here. They're awesome. Go check out their Instagram. This is Katie and I on graduation turned into a sticker. And then every month I like to pick a sustainability goal and a savings goal. So this month in September, I'm not allowed to buy any clothes. So I've been sticking to my goals and I'm really happy about it. And my sustainability goals were to use fewer makeup wipes, take shorter showers and recycle properly. Oh yeah, and then this is me and my dream home just to keep me inspired. And and remind me why I'm working hard. And then this wall is pretty much all windows. It can get pretty bright in here, so I'll put these shades down, but I kind of like them at this halfway point. And I love the lighting in this room. I spend a lot of time in here. I spend a lot of time working on my bed, doing school. Everything is like done right here. So I do really like having nice lighting. This brings me to my next corner. We've got my bedside table. This is from West Elm, as well as this bed. I'll try to link as many of the things in this room down below so you guys can go check them out but in here I just keep my sleeping mask a little like bite lip thing some pillow spray we've got my to-do list here little lamp some books that I'm reading and my mega long charger which is definitely worth the investment people and up here the newest addition to my room we've got my two plant friends I don't have names for these plants so if you guys have any ideas on what I should name my plants please comment them down below this one my mom has been growing for a really long time so we just repotted her and then I got this guy at 7D's in Bridgeport and we hung them on the ceiling with some magical hooks which I'll try to find down below because my building is actually not made out of wood fully so it's very complicated to hang them I don't know I'll link the hooks if you guys are in a similar situation because I am in a new building and it was very complicated to hang these. And then the last two things for decor in my room are these two beautiful posters. I've been saving these for over a year. I actually got them in Hawaii at a vintage poster shop. We have my lovely photo car from Kodak. I like photography and cameras and my grandpa was a photographer so I don't know it's kind of fun reminds me of him and of course I'm really obsessed with the Olympics and specifically the Winter Olympics I went to the Vancouver ones but this is Lake Placid so it's my little ode to my love for winter sports and the Olympics but yeah that's my room let me know if you guys have any other questions about where things are from I hope this gave you some inspiration for your own room and I want to thank you guys so much for watching I cannot wait to show you the entire apartment it's gonna be amazing Follow me on Instagram. I post a bunch of pictures in my room and I'm constantly evolving things. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to comment what I should name my plants and I'll talk to you guys soon. Mama's advice, if you tell me how to hike it, we can